Hello everyone and welcome into Coach Craig Sports. This is the MLB DFS core pick video for today, Tuesday, April 23rd. If you join me for the very first time, this is how today's video will be structured. We'll be going over a recap of yesterday's pick scene and how they ultimately ended up turning out. After that, we'll get moved over to Rotowire, take a look at the weather report, which is just going to be looking at any games that could potentially be having some weather spots for tonight overall. And then after that, we'll get moved over to Fandle, talk about my core picks. It's going to be one pitcher four hitters. It's going to be based on a combination of past performance versus their respective opponents, as well as recent history. And then after that, we'll get moved over to my cheat sheet and talk about my top GPP teams to stack for tonight's slate overall. That cheat sheet is 100% free. It is up on the Sports Affiliation website, so definitely be sure to check that out over there as well as you're building out your lineups for today. But without further ado, we'll get started with the recap of yesterday's picks. At the pitcher position, we went with Yusei Kikuchi, $9,300, got to 34 points. So I did ultimately end up giving him a push. Obviously, we'd like to see a closer, you know, like 38, 40 out of him. But still not a bad pitcher whatsoever. There was a couple guys ahead of him yesterday. Chris Paddock was the most notable one. I think he got to 61 points. But So it wasn't a bad day for pitching overall. Kikuchi was definitely not a guy that hurt our lineups overall, though. And then we had Hassan Kim, $3,500, like the history there versus Austin Gomer in the past. Unfortunately, he got to zero points, so he was a mess. He went 0 for 4 yesterday. And then at third base, we had Nolan Arenado at $3,000, only got three points. Did give him a push. You know, he wasn't anybody that completely, completely killed our lineup, but wasn't anybody that helped it at the same time. He was 1 for 4 yesterday. And then our two outfielders, we had Jorge Soler at $3,000 and Lars Newpar at $3,100. Soler got to 12.2 and Newpar got to 10. So I did give both them hits since they did get to double digit points yesterday. So a little bit of a hit or miss day overall. Obviously, we would like to have been a little bit better. But if you got to some other decent plays, you still had a decent chance of catching yesterday. Although, you know, it was probably more of a min cash day altogether. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Rotowire and talk about that weather report for today. So there are four games in total that do have double-digit chances of rain. So we're going to start off with the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. In Minnesota, only 11% chance of rain there. So not really too worried about that one. However, if you move over to Chicago with the Cubs and the Astros, 62% chances of rain. So that is one that we're going to be tracking a little bit more closely as the day moves along, as well as the St. Louis Cardinals and the Arizona Diamondbacks down in St. Louis, 52% chance of rain down there. So those will be the two major ones for today. And then as we move down here, out in Colorado, obviously the weather can change kind of on a dime out there for the Colorado Rockies and San Diego Padres. And we're looking at a 28% chance of rain there tonight as well. So there's a couple of games that we'll be watching as the day moves along, but mainly going to be the Chicago and the St. Louis game just in general. I think ultimately all these games will go off, but if anything does majorly change throughout the day, we'll leave that listed down in the comments below. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my core picks for tonight overall. So we're going to start off at the pitcher position with Pablo Lopez. He's $10,200, kind of in a mixed bag of tricks for him so far to start this season. Two good starts, two bad starts, averaging about 30 fantasy points per game. And he's going against the Chicago White Sox tonight. He's got pretty decent history versus them in the past. Outside of like Eloy Jimenez, he's the only guy that's hit him well. He's got two home runs versus him. But last year in 2023, Pablo Lopez had 24, 43, and 51 points versus the Chicago White Sox. So Two out of three starts, really good there, would be what we were looking for out of him tonight. And if you look at what he's done so far on the season, it's an ERA just under four, the one win. So hopefully you get the good start out of him tonight. Like I said, so far in the four starts, it's been two good starts, two bad starts. So we'll see what we get out of him tonight, but a very favorable matchup versus the Chicago White Sox. Then we are going to go down to catcher with Travis Darnon. He is $3,000, averaging 11.5 fantasy points per game so far on the season. And it's a 273 average, five home runs, 14 RBIs. But I will say all five of those home runs have come in his last three starts. So he's been really hot as of late. Six for 12 with one home run versus Trevor Rogers, the expected starting pitcher tonight for the Miami Marlins. So definitely do like the upside for Travis Dearnod once again tonight. And everything is kind of pointing to him having a really good game once again. And then after that, we move down to third base with Nolan Arenado once again. You know, it didn't quite work out yesterday, but sometimes you pick out these guys. They don't work out the first day. Still got decent history the second day, so go right back to him, and then it kind of works out the second day. So hopefully that's the case with Nolan Arenado tonight. He is 3-for-3 three three in his career versus Tommy Henry. Obviously, if you look at what he's done so far in the season, it's a 289 average, one home run, 11 RBIs, averaging about eight fantasy points per game. So kind of a down year for him. 
Still hitting the ball decently well, just not for power at this point in time. He has at least one hit in 19 out of his last 21 games, and five of those have been multi-hit games. So hopefully we either get a home run or a multi-hit game out of him tonight. And then we move down to shortstop with Gunnar Henderson. He is $3,800. Going against Griffin Cannon tonight, he is 2 for 3 a one home run versus Griffin Cannon in his career. That did come in a game earlier this season. On the season, Gunnar Henderson is hitting 289, six home runs, 15 RBIs, averaging over 14 fantasy points per game. And as of late, he's probably been one of the hottest hitters in all of baseball. He has at least one hit in eight out of his last nine games, and six of those games have been multi-hit games, which is just a crazy percentage when you think about it. Six out of eight, 75% have been multi-hit games. And then he also does have three home runs during that nine-game span as well. So definitely like the upside of Gunnar Henderson tonight. And at $3,800, that's not even a crazy price tag for the production that he's put up as of late. And then last but not least, we're going to go with Christopher Morrell of the Chicago Cubs. You can play him at outfield. You can play him at third base. He is going against J.P. France tonight, two for two with one home run versus France in his career. It's not been the greatest year so far for Christopher Morrell. It's the 205 average, three home runs, 11 RBIs, averaging just over nine fantasy points per game. And if you don't know, he had a pretty hot start to the season, but as of late, there's been a lot of offers here. So he's on a modest two-game hitting streak at this point in time, but before that, there was a three-game offer streak. He had one hit, and then right before that, it was pretty long offer streak as well. So hopefully he's able to get back on track tonight in a pretty big way versus J.P. France, a guy that he doesn't have a long list of history versus but some pretty good history at that. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do currently have listed here, you have $12,000 remaining, exactly $3,000 remaining per player. So looking a little bit more like a balance build type of day just in general. Obviously, we can pay off for a couple other guys, pay down at a couple other spots if that's something I'm really wanting to do as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my cheat sheet and talk about those top GPP teams to stack for tonight. So once again, the cheat sheet is 100% free. It is up on the Sports Affiliation website. I will be leaving a link to that down in the comments below as well. But these are the top GPP teams that I do have to stack for tonight's game overall. So we have the Atlanta Braves going against Trevor Rogers. Some hit or miss history versus him in the past, but Travis Darinod is going to look really good. Ronald Acuna is going to look pretty good. You could probably take some shots on guys like Adam Duvall, Austin Riley, who hasn't been hitting the ball as good as of late. Orlando Arcia is another guy that does have some decent history versus him in the past as well. The Chicago Cubs versus J.P. France. So France pitched against them one time last season. The Cubs hit him around pretty well. So looking at guys like Christopher Morrell, Cody Bellinger, you know, just a couple other guys here and there. Unfortunately, they say Suzuki's not playing tonight. He had two home runs versus J.P. France last season. So he would look like a great play if he was able to play, but he's on the I.L. at this point in time. And then we have the St. Louis Cardinals going against Tommy Henry. Not a long list of history there. But, you know, Nolan Arenado, three for three versus him. Paul Goldschmidt's got a home run versus him. Goldschmidt just did a home run last night, so hopefully he's starting to get back on track. So if you want to go to the Cardinals tonight, don't have a problem with that. And then we do have the Orioles going against Griffin Cannon. Some pretty good history versus him in the past, although it is a very, very small sample size. Gunnar Henderson makes some sense to get to. Colton Kowser. And they just called up Heston Kierstad for tonight's game. So he could be a guy that could be in play. I'm not sure exactly what his price tag is. But definitely, if I'm building out some Oreo stacks, it would be a guy that I consider for tonight's game overall. But with that being said, that's all that I have in terms of the recap, the weather report, the core picks, and my top GPP stacks for today, April 23rd. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to drop them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And then with that being said, if there's any other updates that do happen throughout the day, we'll be leaving them down in the comments as well as as many of those starting lineups as that I can get to tonight as possible. But with that being said, if you are brand new to my channel, checking out for the very first time or have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Right now we have MLB DFS in terms of the core picks Monday through Friday. And then I do have my UFL DFS video going up once a week. So definitely be sure to check that out if that's something you're into as well. And then last but not least, if you're interested in sports betting, if you're interested in prop betting whatsoever, be sure to check out the links and promo codes down in the description below for Price Picks, Parlay Play, and BetUS if you are a brand new user on any one of those three sites. When you sign up, you make your initial deposit, you will get a first match deposit bonus. So for Parlay Play and Price Picks, it's a 100% match up to $100. 
And then for BetUS, it's a 125% match on your initial deposit up to $2,500. So some pretty great opportunities to be had out there. And then with that being said, if you have any other additional questions related to that whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me, whether it's down in the comments or on Twitter at Coach Greg Sport, and be more than happy to help you with that journey as well. But with that being said, that's all that I truly have for today's video. Definitely do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. Definitely means a lot to me. I hope that each and every one of you have a great rest of your day and some pretty good luck in MLB DFS tonight.